Hello to all of my suburbanites, beach bums, and city slickers. It's Sunday. Happy Sunday. Sunday before school starts back. Oh, guys, school start back here tomorrow. Uh, and I'm just like, no! <laughs> we love uh, summertime around these parts. Um. And no school time interfering with that, you know? Told y'all in my last react that we love going to the theme parks and whatnot. And we are close to them. And I have uh, season passes for a lot of them. <laughs> so, you know, this whole going back to school thing is interfering with our fun. <laughs> and by our, I do mean my son he loves things, theme parks and whatnot. Anyways, this isn't about him. It is 11.21 a.m. on Sunday, August 11th, 2024, okay? And I'm starting to record this reaction. Alexandra has uploaded a video. Yay. And from the thumbnail, she found it, girl. <laughs> Girl, hey, you watch me, and I know you do. Because everything I say, you put it in your vlogs, girl. Well, not everything, almost everything. I kept asking you throughout my last reaction, girl, where's your baby daddy? Where's your baby daddy? And you you produced him. And so all is well in the southeast quadrants of these United States of America, Okay. I'm glad you found your baby daddy. Now, we just need to find that bump. And baby, <laughs> it's all good. Ay, 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 ay. It's going to be all good. It's all good either way, okay? Because let me tell you something, Miss Mamas. I was thinking about it. And um, shout out to Alvin Reacts, Okay. Uh, she been on your ass lately, okay? <laughs> but anyways, check it. I was like, you know what? No one, I mean no one, would have been upset with you. Not even me, and I'm a reaction channel to you, if you needed a surrogate. Because I had, I had to think about that. And I actually told Alvin. I was like, listen, little chipmunk. Nobody would have been mad about that. Because here's the gag. Not every woman can carry a child, you know? And it's so heartbreaking when, when women can't that really want to. Because it's such a blessing, first of all to be able to do and not everyone is blessed with that so who's going to be mad if you had to have a surrogate alexandra and and right now i'm not talking to you ma'am um as a reaction channel i'm talking to you from mother to mother because soon you're going to be a mother you know because i i don't wish any ill will on you during your delivery, I will be honest with you and telling you that uh, labor and delivery is a motherfucker, okay? Them contractions, mm, girl, 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 it ain't no joke. And whether you push that baby out or they have to cut that baby out, neither one of them is, is easy going. You are laboring through either one okay so what i'm saying to you from my heart to yours not as a reaction channel just mother to mother listen it's hard either one either way they get that baby out is hard now i feel too if you have a surrogate that's hard as well now y'all stay with me Y'all don't cuss me out. Just listen to what I have to say. I realized, 
Because at first I thought, oh, well, you get to have a surrogate. That's easy, baby. You don't have to go through your body changing. My body changed a lot with my four pregnancies. It changed. My body changed a lot. And if I be honest, it really hasn't been the same since I had the four pregnancies, okay? Um, it, it changes you, yeah. Um, so in my mind, I was like, oh, a surrogate. Oh, you win there, baby. That, yeah, that's going to be easy. No, it's not until I won't say who because that, that's not my business to say who, but someone that is dear to me, that's close to me, okay? They had to have a surrogate because they went through a lot of different things. Um, I, I, IVF, I think is what it's called. They They tried several years to carry a child and then they were getting um older and they wanted the baby before they got older so that they're not old parents like they still have the energy to deal with a toddler and you know even when they get older and they have to run around taking this kid to if it was a girl whatever she chose to do you know and if it's a boy whatever the boy chose to do as far as sports and, and extracurricular activities and things like that. But then what I realized was that it's not easy because if you had a pregnancy the way that it was, I, I'm going to, I'm just going to go ahead and say intended to be right. Um, You have nine months. If you make it nine months, I didn't make it nine months. Trent was born early, but However many months you get, you have all that time to bond with the child. Um, like for myself, I would read to Trent every night. When I found out that I was pregnant, I was reading because studies say that, you know, they can hear your voice and everything. And um, it was me. It was me bonding with him. And then I had... Um, The, the stuff that you go through as you get pregnant, you know, as your pregnancy, as you get pregnant, as your pregnancy goes forward, the different things that you may or may not experience. And at the time, four of my other friends were pregnant at the same time. So we went through it together. Right. And some things I was going through that they were not going through. OK. <laughs> and, um, you know, the, I'll never forget. The very first time that I felt Trent move, ah, you know, it's those things that bond you closer. And then the first ultrasound I got and, you know, the experience that I got, you know, just being there and watching him on the screen and not wanting them to take the little thing off because I wanted to see more and more and more. And, you know, just all those moments. Well, this person that I'm referring to didn't have those moments. And I'm not saying that every person with a surrogate goes through this, but it's hard because you don't have those moments. Okay. Uh, breast milk too comes because you're pregnant and your body just knows, Hey, got to feed this baby. Well, you have to do things to make your body produce the milk. And I know that just because of this person that had to have a, a surrogate because they really wanted a baby. Now, listen, it took some time to bond to this child because it was almost like even though it was her egg and her husband's sperm, it was so hard to just immediately grasp to this child because it felt like it was the surrogate's child. Now, I'm not saying that everybody is going to go through this. I'm just saying, however you become a mother, it could be hard. And I said all that to say to you, Mrs. Rodriguez, is that uh, if this is all a fake, you're being a fake and a phony, you better keep hiding it. Because you will lose your entire audience because this is absolutely ridiculous. No one, you could have had a whole storyline if you do have a surrogate. Let's say you got one. I don't know what you got, girl, because I'm not there. But 
if you did have one, that could have been a whole storyline. You could have followed the process from beginning to end. Sorry, that's my phone on how you found the surrogate, how you and Yar interviewed people. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't none of that, girl. It's wild if that's what happened. But then I feel the same way about your pregnancy. You are not showing a journey. You are showing yourself shopping for things for that baby and not a journey of a pregnant woman. Okay? It's wild that you're not because we some of us have been watching you since you since you lived in Nancy's attic and we know that you are a sharer we know that you love to decorate actually you love to over decorate girl like girl look at your living room girl all kind of themes going on in that living room it don't even match but when it comes to this baby you are so detached and so is your Husband, detached. Nancy, detached. <laughs> Do you know when my mom, because my son is my mother's first grandchild and my father's first grandchild. because I am the first child, right? So do you know that my parents, um, even at their house right now, they still have like some of those uh, first ultrasounds of Trent? Do you know that they still have baby pictures of him on his on their wall wall in their house from him being like um in utero up until now? Girl, all of y'all are acting weird. Now, am I saying that Nancy needs to put a picture on, on her wall and go out? No, but most grandparents do. Even even um well, when I was married, my husband, his his parents too, the in-laws, my in-laws, girl, they were just so excited. And, and on um, my in-law side, Trent was not even their first grandchild. Trent is their last grandchild. And let me tell you something. Um, my mother-in-law is, is a nurse. Well, she was a nurse. Okay. And she took some of those pictures and I'm talking about, she all had them all at her job and showing all her friends at work. And she would go out to brunch with her girlfriends and she was showing everybody proud. This is what we are missing from you, Mrs. Rodriguez. And this is why everyone is questioning it because people are um, mothers, grandmothers, Aunts, do you know that aunts show more like enthusiasm about their nieces and nephews than you and your entire family have shown about a baby that you know you carry and that's gonna be a part of their family as well? And Yarmin's girl, it's weird. Y'all are being so weird, okay? And that is why people are feeling the way that they feel. And now that I have talked for 13 minutes and 35 seconds, I'm going to start your video. But since I know you watch, I just wanted to talk to you from mother to mother. You know, no reaction. You know what I'm saying? Just, just talking to you as to why you're getting all of these comments from people in your in your comment section. Because if you have ever had a baby, you certain things are just universal. <laughs> Right, the majority of women are experiencing them, or or have heard about it, or they know somebody that it happened to. Girl, you ain't doing none of them except for the stuff that I guess you pretended in the beginning to have all of the symptoms, and it was that it was like either you're overdoing it or you're not doing anything at all, which just all seems fake. So anyways, let's go ahead and let's watch a day in your life. And now mother to mother is over, Alex. So you might want to go ahead and click off if you don't want to hear me react to your day in the life video. Now to my audience, y'all always know what I say. Do not go over there and write anything. Don't, don't give them any reason to say 
that we're being mean to her or hateful or anything like don't go over there at all. Just leave them alone. Leave them alone. Okay. Let them be. That's her community. If they want to be, I don't know, just delusional, let them. If you have anything that you want to say, you say it down in the comment section. You know I will meet you there and we'll have a conversation. All right? Cool. All right. Here we go. Alexandra, day in my life. S'mores protein balls. New baby fine. Failed craft time. LOL. All right. Here we go. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. Oh, hello. Do you want to join me? We're almost here for the vibes. You want to tell them about Rocket Money? No! By using Rocket Money, we can have more money to buy you more treats. So before oh, we have the vlog, no. uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. we're not doing um helping her sell shit. Uh -uh. Nope, not doing that. She can do Rocket Money on her own time. You feeling me? We don't we don't help her sponsor shit over here. Okay, we don't. I'm not doing that. To crafting with Alex. No one click off. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, but I am gonna do something risky in this vlog today. I have faith in myself. I think no, it's a super dreary, rainy day, and I figured we could do some arts and crafts today. And this is actually really not an arts and craft at all, but I do think I am gonna start my new paint by numbers. Um, but I have been really wanting to laminate my ultrasound, and I was oh now just wait one minute, wait one minute, wait one minute. How are you going to laminate them? How? I swear to God on everything I love, you better not have a machine. If you put those in a machine, they will crumble and melt. I hope that you are laminating them like just the peeling stick. Are you doing a peeling stick? Girl, your ass better be doing a motherfucking peeling stick. What the actual fuck? Okay, Alex, please tell me you have a peeling stick, girl. I was looking into it and I did not realize that you can literally get like self-sealing lamination sheets at the store. I'm a little scared to mess this up because <laughs> these are like so precious, but um, I'm just gonna like read the directions and follow it. It had good reviews. So, you know, <laughs> as you guys know, I've had these taped on our refrigerator and I really wanna like preserve them and have them forever like this is such a great little keepsake um from when he was so small based off of the reviews that i read it's just like super important to make sure you get all the air bubbles out so that's the main goal so here's what they look like here fast easy lamination peel okay okay i like these because it's peeling stick you can use it at I, I use these at work and so does my staff my staff if we have smaller things that we can do ourselves then we use this because it's easy and it's fast, you know? Okay, we off to a good start, Alexandra. Place and smooth. I mean, sounds simple enough, right? Because if this works, this would be such a great thing to be able to do from home without like a whole machine. Because I don't know if you guys- She's saying that she foreshadowing that it's gonna work and that it did not work. So already her little words down there that she put lets me know that she forked this up and I, let's just see what she does. And then I'm going to tell her what she should have done. Ha ha. Because that's what I do. Sometimes if I want to like laminate something, I will literally just use like thick, clear packing tape on each side. And it like gives the same effect in my humble opinion. It's not as cute though, and and it puts lines through it. So that's the only reason that the packing tape wouldn't work if you want it to have like this seamless look. I hope there's more directions than this. I hope. Remove the top strip first, place the front side of the object on a flat surface, stick the top adhesive part of the laminating sheet gently on the object, peel off the liner a little bit, and then slowly roll the adhesive side of the laminating she look confused as hell. Now, all I know is that this kid better go to school. Uh, My son go to private school. Alex, make sure you put that baby in school. Now, you could put him in public school if you want to. I personally prefer, and so does my kid, private school. So private school, you know, it is. Do private school. Lord have mercy. 
heating sheet over the object, press the air out till the transparent film completely covers the object. Did you retain any of that? Because I. Yeah. Okay. But we already know that you didn't because you had all kind of questions in your head as you were reading it, which tells me one thing that when you read, you aren't comprehending what you read. Look at teacher Nella coming out. All them degrees and shit coming in handy right here. But it's pretty, it was pretty self-explanatory, but let's see what you did. I didn't move this top strip first. We know. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Goes first. Step one complete, front side of the object. Ew! When is allergy season gonna be over? Cause I feel like it's just been going on for three years. All right, may the odds be ever in my favor here. Place the front oh. side of the object up on flat surface. Okay, I'm gonna do them individually. So I, I'm, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do the one first that is like not very good. Let's be smart about this. This one, you can't see his face very well, but you can see it, he's so cute. This one is the better recent one. Okay, okay, all right. This doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Does this make sense to you guys? Yes. Oh, I'm gonna YouTube it. Thank God for YouTube. Rotting bear parks in Central Park. How to- Wait a minute. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? Let's go back. Y'all gotta hear that. Like, Alex, what the hell were you watching, girl? Go back just a little bit. Y'all listen to what her phone says to me. Does this make sense to you guys? Oh, I'm gonna YouTube it. Thank God for YouTube. Rotting bear parks. In Did y'all hear that? <laughs> it said that there was a rotting, a rotting bear corpse. <laughs> what the hell is on your, uh, on your, um, Algorithm girl, <laughs> a rotten bear corpse. What? In Central Park. How to use self sealing laminating sheets. A few minutes later. Wait. What is this ring? Is this the right ring? I am just now noticing it, but it doesn't look like. Her wedding ring or engagement ring. And I could be wrong. I mean, I am looking at it from the side. But, uh, yeah, that, that, that right there is different. I don't know. That's different. Okay. I could be wrong. It could be the one. Uh, Shout out to these people posting tutorials of this on YouTube because this is nothing like the directions and I'm reading all the comments and everyone is like, I did not understand their indirections. I needed this video. Like, okay, you have to use two of them, which makes so much sense. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so I just watched him do it. Um, okay, oh, oh my gosh, that's actually like very upsetting. These directions are horrible. Okay, so here's what I gather. Okay, so this is sticky now right here. So I peeled off that top part, okay? So this is sticky. Put the top of what we want to get laminated there so it's stuck onto that part, okay? Now we're gonna do the same thing with another one because obviously it has to get laminated on both sides. So we're gonna put this right on top of that one. So now... <clears throat> so far, it's good. But... Wait, let me just see if she does what I'm thinking or what I know she should do. It's the easy way. Alex, hope you're listening because I don't think you're going to do it because I don't see tape. So let's just see. We have like two sheets stuck together with the photo in the middle. Okay. Right. And now I'm going to take off the back one first. No! This literally is just like huge pieces of thick no, tape. No, 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 I no. think we could all just be using some packing tape here, people. Oh, no. Okay. No, no, um, no. And then he did also say to take off the bottom one. Be no. Okay. If you do it like that, it's going to be crinkly. Ah, she's going to mess this up. She's going to mess it up. Okay. So at work, when we use these things, two things other than the laminating sheets are important. You need tape and you need one of those flat, um, like scraping things to get the air bubbles out. Why would she need tape, Nella? Do you see how she has the two, um, sides right there already are laminated together okay so you she's gonna she's gonna need to tape down both sides with just a small piece of tape tape down if you look at the the right side tape that down 
to something so that it can't move because those paint those laminating things are very uh what's the word staticky 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 they'll move and they'll grab onto your paper or whatever you're trying to laminate and and, and crinkle it up and, and mess it up so you're going to tape down both sides and then and and also she should have took the tape off of the other side first, like the left side of the screen where her hand is over that white paper, that part should have come off first. So she could have laid the picture flat down, right? It would be, it would have been flat down because the paper's not, the laminate paper is not going to move because it's taped down as well. Both sides are taped down. You lay the picture down or whatever you're laminating and then you lay the other side over a little at a time and use that scraper thing to get the air bubbles out as you do it slowly so that everything will come out seamlessly and no bubbles. Bet money, she forks this up. Because it will stick. This will stick to that, okay? Oh, my God, this is terrifying. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. This is. Girl, did you just say that this is terrifying? What are you going to do when you in there with your feet in those stirrups and you've been in there pushing and you've been in there laboring for nine and a half hours and that baby's head is trying to come out? And good God, if that baby's head is as big as your head and you in there, you're pushing and you're breathing and you're pushing and you're breathing and you're sweating because it's hot. What are you going to do? That isn't terrifying. A baby, a full grown person coming out of your hoo ha, that's terrifying. Okay? Your life not being your own anymore, that's terrifying. Whether or not your baby daddy is going to really be there, that's terrifying. What? Running on two hours of sleep, that's terrifying. When you can go to sleep, but you don't because you love your baby so, so much that you just want to sit there and watch him breathe. And you just look at that baby boy and you just keep breathing. Just keep breathing. What do you mean? You are about to be a mother, soldier. It is the hardest, most rewarding job that you will ever have for the rest of your life. The hell you mean this is terrifying? You better get unterrified about some shit. No, I tell you what's terrifying. Uh, waking up, uh, cause the baby is crying, and then you go to change the baby's diaper, and then all of a sudden you hear, <laughs> and he shits all over your nightgown. And it's three o'clock in the damn morning. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> Real story, people. Real stories in the trenches. Real stories, huh? Get your shit together, Alex. This isn't terrifying. When that baby get here, then you talk to us about terrifying. This is why we're doing the worst picture first. We can mess it up and it will be fine. Okay? Jesus Christ. This yeah. is horrifying. He made this look very simple. Oh, okay, 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 okay. No, no, no. Okay. All right. See, if she would have tape, just a small piece of tape on each end, then it wouldn't be moving around like it is right now. I can already tell it's going to be bubbly and messed up because if you look at the bottom left side of that picture, it's, it's bulked up. She's going to mess this up. But if she would have put a little piece of tape on each side, then the the papers wouldn't have been moving. IJS, man. IJS. All right. All right. All right. <sighs> She's already he did it up. so See? much smoother. And as you like place it down, try to get out the air bubbles. It's not flat on the bottom though. I think I messed this one no, up. You do okay. It. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Oh, I'm panicking. Actually, it's not horrible. <laughs> it's not, it's not good. Alex, get something that's flat so that you can scrape across it or drag across it, whatever, evenly, so that it's you get the air bubbles out and, and it becomes, you know neat and seamless and you can put it in in a, a frame or something come on alex use your brain but you know what 
See, this is what happens when you stay at home and you're not at them people's school getting uh, art classes and stuff like the rest of us. But like for my first attempt, it's 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 not the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Okay. All right. <laughs> I, I think I know where I went wrong. He, I think he's more seasoned than I am. So I'm going to have. No, you idiot. He's not more seasoned. You just have, you just have no goddamn common sense. To like take that bottom one off after I get the top a little bit more, a little bit more snazzy here. It's not great, but you can still see the picture and it's going to be better soon. Oh my God. All right. Stand by while I watch that video three more times and we attempt to do this again. Okay. I'm back. I think I figured it out. Wish me luck. I'm going to remove that. These are very recent. I can go get more of these, but these I don't want to mess up because they're the first ones. They're really old. Um, so put this down here. Lord have mercy. I'm feeling very confident about this one. <laughs> Not hopefully too confident. Okay. Place this one over the top again. Yep. 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 Okay. We're not going to do both first. That is not good. I have the video here. All right. I'm following his video directly. He just took off this back piece first. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's oh! Like the picture just flops. Up. I told y'all. What did I say a few minutes ago? That laminate paper is very staticky. And that is why she should have taped it down, just a little piece of tape to tape it down to the table or something, or not to the table, because those aren't like work tables like we have at, at, at work, but to something so that it wouldn't move. Oh, God, Alex, come on. Up. His does not do that. No. No. Oh, God, Jesus. Okay. Oh, I think it's the texture of the sonogram. It's like a very floppy. Wait, no, I'm slowly. No. No. Back. Oh my God. Okay. So if you put the paper all the way down like that, then you're going to laminate. <laughs> you're going to laminate his actual picture underneath the white paper that's there. Alex, come on, use your brain. Don't, don't do this. I hope she stops and realizes that she's going to cover up the paper if she puts the whole thing down like that. Jesus Christ, man. Okay, yep. No. Slowly rolling no. back. This is the worst thing I've ever done. Because now it's stuck. Oh, my God. Ah! I don't know where to go. I knew she was going to mess it up. I knew it. I told y'all she was going to fork it up. From here. Now it's stuck to this page. <laughs> okay. Jesus right. Christ, man. How does he... No, no. All right, I'm gonna cut it out. Get this other piece off. Holy How would you though? Okay, I'm yeah. tapping out of this. Nope. The great news is my sonogram didn't get ruined. <laughs> Thank God. And this is why we don't do crafting with Alex. This is why we don't do it. Okay, so thankfully it's just laminated on this side and this side did not get ruined. Um, no way. Wow. I'm not risking that again. Okay, just thank God these did not get ruined. Wow. Okay. She can't do something as simple as laminate, even though she watched someone do it several times and she read the instructions on the pack. Um, guys, this is a woman who's going to raise a child that's going to be in our society and one day vote and make rules and shit. Y'all think about that. You Alex stands out there. Yeah, I'll think about that. Ruined. Just thank God. I would have broken my heart. The Armin's like, just take them to Staples. I'm like, no, babe, I want to DIY. That's my toxic trait. It's just like, well, next time, instead of going against what Yar says, your ass need to listen. Because you have done a lot of shit. And we all know that you don't know what in the fork you doing. Okay? So there's that. Get shit together now wanting to DIY things because I think it makes it more special. No, no, nay, nay. The three good ones are fine. Okay, we tried, you guys. It's all about trying. Many hours later. So I got something in the mail for our- I'm, I'm always scared when you do things like this. <laughs> he doesn't know what it is. And you laugh like that. Oh, look, you found your baby Didi. <laughs> or is it time for him to show up, you know, for you know his, his paycheck? He got to show up so that he can get that paycheck. Paycheck. He need his paycheck. So he gotta show up. 
or else he ain't going to be able to get paid. Either way it go, Cupcake, I'm glad that you found your baby daddy and he is looking at you like, Ugh, I'm back here with this bitch again. <laughs> you look happy, though, so I guess that's all that matters, eh? I know. He thinks it's a nervous laugh. It partially is. So I ordered something for our sweet son's nursery. <laughs> Keep laughing. <laughs> the package looks a bit distraught. Oh, yeah. It um, looks like I've been through a been lot through of lot. Uh, checks and portals and I think gates. And I think it has. <laughs> um, but I ordered a custom. Okay, so you know what a mobile is? No. Um, it's the thing that goes above the Yar, what the fuck do you mean no? And Alex, you ordered a mobile? You ain't saying shit by no goddamn. You know what you did? You was listening to Priscilla P. Ha <laughs> ha! And uh, she said that you should have one of those because, you know, it's cute for the kids to look at them when, you know, they are um, in their crib or, or you're changing them or whatnot. And if you're thinking, hey, Nella, did you have one for Trent? I sure did. I think I told y'all that it was a Winnie the Pooh theme in the beginning. So his, um, and I bought a set that came together. So I didn't have to think very hard. And I also purchased um, the changing table to match his crib and all that jazz. But the mobile um, had Winnie the Pooh characters on it. And it would sing, you know, it was real cute. The crib that the baby looks at and falls asleep, you know, a little floating yeah. toy thing. I ordered a custom one of Bruno, handmade. So it looks like Bruno. Why in the fuck would you? See, every time I try to do right, evil is always present. <laughs> Why in the fuck would you go and purchase huh? one that looks like Bruno when the room is duck themed. Duck, 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 duck. What the fuck? It ducks, girl. Why didn't you get one with ducks? Lord have mercy. And if it's custom themed, that means you could have sent them a picture of the ducks that you have and they couldn't have made an exact replica. Why are you always being so stupid? Fuck. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought you like, I don't know, got like hair clippings or something and like, <laughs> like I don't know. What I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah, after Bruno got groomed, I took his hair shavings. So I don't know. It's handmade. Okay. I did not, you could pay to like see the preview of it. I said, nay, nay. No, no. Surprise me. Is this your first time seeing it? Yes. Oh, that's so cool. That is cool. Oh. Okay, I just want to say right here that y'all know fucking well that this man don't give a shit. Now, I'm pretty sure that Miss Mama's done watched my uh, reaction and anyone else who says that this man is not interested and he shows what? Zero emotion. Now we got his ass in a vlog showing emotion about a fucking mobile that's got uh, Bruno on it. Girl, y'all ain't fooling nobody. What you tell him? If you want to get paid this month, you better come on here and act like you are excited about this baby stuff or you are not getting paid because you're not doing your job. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Girl, you ain't fooling nobody. This man ain't been excited about shit. This entire time, and now all of a sudden, he excited about a mobile that looks like a dog that he don't even spend time with. Girl, who y'all think y'all fooling? Not me. The fuck? Oh, it's that is so cool. cute. I like that. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> that it is so like cool. Long. That's awesome. Did you say it's handmade? Yeah. That is and so I, cool. I, I sent in like a bunch of pictures of him. That is. It so does cool. look like him wow. with his coloring Where and everything. <gasps> look at even the white on his chest, the white paw. Come on, let's compare. Oh my God, oh, Woody, Daddy oh gonna pick God. her up. Look at it, look at it. <laughs> it looks like you. It's just like him. They did perfect with his colors. That is so cool. Wow, hands with you. They even got his brown on, oh my God. And look at the eyebrows. They... Oh my God, I gotta, hold on. Hey, they even gave him his eyebrows. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. He has little white eyebrows. Yeah. Shit, I got to go back, cause you know what? Bruno got some thoughts, okay? Bruno got some thoughts. Bruno's thoughts. Can you believe these motherfuckers right here? Now, 
this bitch and this dingus over here trying to act like they so into me when they know good and goddamn well that they don't give a fork. Huh? I'm just waiting on when they tell my ass that I got to fucking go. Because I tell you what, I already know that it's coming. And I, y'all know that it's coming too. Now here they are. They got a replica of me the exact same way. So that when they get rid of my ass, they'll still be able to be like, oh, look, there were, here lies Bruno. Man, fuck him and her. Bruno, out. Perfect with his colors. That is so cool. Wow. Handsome is you. They even got his brown on. Oh, my God. And look at the eyebrows. They, they even give him his eyebrows. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> he has little white eyebrows like this. Wow. Oh. That's fresh. That's so cool. All right, I gotta untangle wow. this. Let me see. You got this on like Etsy or something? Um, no, I got it from a random website called like My Dollfy or something. I got an ad for it on Instagram. Do they do other? Yeah, they do like a bunch of like homemade like, crocheted. Okay. Imagine that an ad on Instagram. Okay, so we are going from ins from TikTok to Instagram, or maybe we're doing both. Who knows? Who knows? Poison stuff. Okay. And you can get a. <laughs> What the, how did how, how did this happen? <laughs> be careful. But then I they just took it out normal, but it's got like clouds, star and a moon. It's so cute. It it's looks really to good. Like this? I don't think no, so. Right? I don't think so. Yeah, we'll we'll figure, figure it out and come back. Yeah. All right. It was a little bit of a struggle to detangle, but we got it. I'm not gonna let it tangle again, so I have it like hanging up here. But look how cute. That's oh you, Bubba. God. No, 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 no. Hell to the no, hell no, to the no, no, no. These are Bruno Stokes, hell no, to the no, no, no. Why is my face on this baby's mobile? Hell to the no, hell no, to the no, no, no. Bruno said take it back. Hell no, to the no, no, no. Bruno said, hell no, bitch. Take this shit back. Y'all don't need a replica of me. I'm here. It's so sweet. I absolutely love. It's you. When you're, well, you just got groomed, so. When your hair's a little longer, it looks like you. And when your hair's not all blown out and fluffy and straight. This is exactly what he normally looks like. All right, you guys, I am about to whip up some homemade protein balls, but I'm going to try a new recipe. I've been really loving these for breakfast because a lot of the time I will just grab one of my breakfast kind bars, the protein ones, but these are a great like homemade option. And I wanted to try like a new recipe. So this one is s'mores. The recipe is from two peas and their pod.com. So it calls for rolled oats, crushed graham crackers, chia seeds, sea salt, peanut butter, honey, vanilla extract, mini chocolate chips and mini marshmallows. So I'm super excited to make these and try them and see how they are. It's like super easy. It's just about what you put in them and you can make them to your heart's desire. All right, starting off with rolled oats. I'm just using the rolled oats from Charlie Joe's. Well, here we go. Here the fuck we go. Here we go. Y'all already know how it is when this motherfucker right here try to cook some shit. Lord have mercy. Okay, and I also do need to finally crush some glam, some glam crackers. They're glamorous. So I need a third of a cup. So we'll see, we'll see how many we need for that. These are so good. Just the Annie's cinnamon. I feel like I'm gonna need like a lot of graham crackers to get a third of a cup, but maybe not. So I'll just start with one pack first. This is the fun part. Take out the aggression on the lamination paper. I don't know why you taking out your aggression from the whole laminating paper situation when that was your fault. Because it's so easy to do. It's not hard. It's not rocket science. Babes, seriously, that was all you. Take your that aggression out on your damn self. Okay, actually, that made way more than I thought. <laughs> Isn't that just how it goes? Okay, a third of a cup of these. I have a little left. I'm just gonna put it in because I have no other purpose for crushing. See, she always doing dumb shit. You see what I'm saying? Oh, Lord. <laughs> if you like them, Alexandra, which you should because you like your cooking, right? 
you could have made some more. That's what you could have done with crushed graham crackers. Dumb fuck. Graham crackers. Uh, two tablespoons of chia seeds. One and two. A pinch of sea salt. Got that right here. Just a pinch. Um, let's see. I'm gonna do like the hard stuff first. Oh, I forgot the vanilla extract. Stand by. I'm gonna do half a teaspoon. Uh, vanilla extract. Okay, so a fun fact I saw with the peanut butter, when you have to like measure it out, spray it first with cooking spray, and then it just falls right out of your measuring cup. Such a genius hack, I've never done it, so let's see. But you can do it for like honey, peanut butter. Okay, so I need a half a cup, do a little spray there. Let me know if you guys have heard of this hack before, because I feel like it is so smart. This peanut butter is firm because we keep it in the fridge. All right, we got our half a cup. Well, I do have to say, I have never kept my peanut butter in the refrigerator. Do y'all keep y'all's in, in the refrigerator? No judgment. You know, I know that different people do things differently. Just asking, you know, for my damn self, not for a friend. But I don't keep peanut butter in the refrigerator for that reason because I don't want it to get all, you know, tough and hard. It's not easy to spread, you know, when it's all cold or whatever. And yeah, it like doesn't leave residue in there. So smart. And I just got a new big thing of honey. This is just a light amber forest mountain honey. It doesn't have like a strong flavor because I honestly don't love the taste of honey, but you really can't taste it in these kinds of things. Quarter cup of honey. Oh, I forgot to spray it again. I think now yeah, it's, it's over. <laughs> it's only a one time use for uh, the spray, but that's all right. At least we already did. The oh, this is a different. Oh my God. Pregnancy brain. There is no pregnancy brain. You're just a dingus. This is a different measuring cup, guys. <sighs> That's why it didn't work. So a quarter cup of um, chocolate chips. I only have probably two tablespoons, <laughs> but it will work. And then about a quarter cup of mini marshmallows. Honestly, this is going to be so freaking good. I'm going to wait like a few minutes for that peanut butter to thaw <laughs> because right now it is super hard from the fridge. Ew. Oh, music! Well, so far it looks like she's doing it good. Now, I know that this is her shit and it's her house, but man, did she wash her hands? <laughs> oh, girl, there's going to be a baby there soon, too. What if she's changing diapers and not washing her goddamn hands with her nasty ass? Motherfucker. It's seven o'clock. Protein balls are in the fridge firming up. Um, we haven't had dinner yet, but I was going to try one after dinner for like a little sweet treat. It's a cloudy day, so it's... That's your problem. You don't need no sweet treat. That's your problem. All the goddamn treats. That's why you is looking the way that you do. Treats. You don't need nothing sweet or a treat. Actually, like almost dark out now. I will say it is not, not staying light out as long as it was a month ago, which is obviously to be expected, but... I don't know, I can feel fall coming and I'm both sad and excited about it. But I'm going to do my skincare and then we're gonna have leftovers for dinner tonight. Last night we watched House of the Dragon, the finale. By the time this vlog goes up, it should have been out for at least a week, but I will say, spoiler alert, I am just like, <sighs> okay, I have a lot of thoughts. I will say, I feel like season one had more jaw-dropping moments. Don't get me wrong, there were definitely some jaw-dropping moments this season, but I feel like the season could have been condensed. Like eight episodes and we never got to the war. Like I really thought we were gonna like get to the war this season, you know? It just felt like a little dragged out. Like, okay, I feel like we could have condensed the eight episodes pre-war into like four episodes. <laughs> and then we could have done four episodes of the war and had a complete season. And I know they're setting up for the war. I'm not saying anything because I don't give a fuck about this goddamn war or this show or None of this shit, because I don't watch it. Do y'all watch it? Mm. If y'all don't watch it, we can um, skip past this, because I don't know what the hell she's talking about. Because I don't watch it. Let me see something. How long is she going to be talking about this war? Let's see. What's just happening? And then <laughs> the screen goes black. And I was like, what? <laughs> I knew the episode was like, almost over but for some reason deep down i was hopeful that maybe just maybe <laughs> the war will fit in these last 10 minutes um but no i am so glad i got into game of thrones late because 
I don't know how you guys waited for new seasons every like year or two. That would be rough. It was so fun to just like binge Game of Thrones when Yara got me into it. It was still good. I'm not like hating it or anything. It was good, but I'm really looking forward to season three. Like after um, the episode, when they did a little inside the episode, that got me a little more hyped for the next season. Don't care. The best part of the episode though is when Damon had that like vision and we got to see little pieces of Game of Thrones that was just like, oh my God, I'm not doing this. I gotta skip some more guys. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Skip a little bit more. Cleanser and moisturizer right now. So I will do what I have to do. Um, it wasn't horrible. Like it didn't make my whole face break out, but a few little ones and I'm like, hmm, that's like the skin. Are you complaining about the skin regimen that you just said was amazing on the other vlog hold on we gotta go back now skin is just liking um cleanser and moisturizer right now so i will do what i have to do so your skin is disliking the cleanser and the moisturizer girl get the fuck out of here your skin doesn't know what the fuck to do because you keep changing it every time you turn around your skin is like bitch we we doing something different we what did, did we doing something different again girl shut up shit um, it wasn't horrible. Like it didn't make my whole face break out, but a few little ones and I'm like, hmm, that's like the skin updates. I remember I was going to update you guys on adding in the toner and the niacinamide, but I'm going to pause. I used, I used a decent amount for a couple weeks. So I'm kind of curious. I will say like my skin cleared up, not using it. My skin is just finicky guys. It really is. All right. Is it? I feel so good. Just have my PJs on and go heat up dinner. <laughs> Third trimester life is very chill and simple and very relaxed. Okay, we had dinner. About to try one of our s'mores protein bites. Oh. Let's give it a taste for dessert, shall we? Ooh, that is so good. Really There's crushed up uh, graham crackers. Is that marshmallows in that? Yeah, 10 out of 10. Yeah. These might be some of the best um, protein bites I've ever had. Shut up. And your salt. <laughs> I love that you knew. <laughs> All right, you guys, popping on to wrap up this vlog. Um, we loved those s'mores protein energy balls. Definitely gonna be enjoying those. Also for breakfast sometimes too. Are those grapes good? They're really good, right? We're a, we've become a great family. Literally, Shut up. always I keep a big bowl of washed grapes just in the fridge so we can just grab like a bunch of them off and pick at them. Yara's always been a big fruit guy, but like my pregnancy has brought me to this level. Shut and up. it's been very fun for us. You love it. <laughs> He's looking at me like, yes. There he is with his banana and his grapes. <laughs> And the baby seat and sweatshirt. And baby seat. Oh, yeah. someone installed the baby car seat today. Yeah, tell I forgot to tell them. Oh, we should have showed them. It was super easy. It was so easy. So tell Well, you probably should have waited because well, I was about to say everyone knows, but not everyone because y'all didn't know. If you put the car seat in now and then you get into a car accident, then that means the car seat is no longer good. You're gonna have to buy a new car seat. But then they, y'all, that whole demo they gave y'all with the stroller and the car seat, the lady didn't tell y'all that? Like, I don't know, y'all are weird. Tell them how that went. <laughs> good it took two seconds it was very no, it's super cool because like everything has stickers in it okay right and everything is like bright and colorful so like when you attach it to the anchors in the rear seat um and you like push it down it the thing turns from red to green letting you know that it's installed correctly oh and it has a level on the side to make sure that the base is leveled so if it's not if you see red that's not good okay but if it's all green it's good to go <laughs> so i don't know just everything was like super easy so they did a great job. Alpha Baby is love that. Good stuff. Yeah, it's actually it was. <laughs> Girl, your baby daddy said he getting his paycheck. You hear me? <laughs> he still want to know what in the hell is he doing here? He knows. He got to get that. He got to get that money. He got to get that money, baby. Get that money, baby. Hey. It's really fun. We like tested it, and I sat in the back seat behind. Uh, behind the driver's side, we put it on the passenger's back seat um, because in the Tesla, you can't do it in the middle seat. Um, but it was nice to sit back there and we brought Bruno in with us just to kind of let him sniff it. <laughs> we test everything out. We test everything out. We, our seat positions. <laughs> yeah, your seat position. Because So y'all did all of that and you didn't show your audience. Wouldn't that have been something nice 
especially for the women that are in your community, Alexandra, uh, that are pregnant right now with you and have may have some of these same questions or want to know or whatever. And then your TCC uh, people, girl, all the good shit you leave out, but you want to show us uh, you making some fucking protein balls. You should have showed the other shit that matters because this is a family vlogging channel now, right? Why in the hell didn't you show it? See, this is why your, your numbers keep getting lower and lower because you're a dumb fuck and you don't think about your audience the way that you should. His seat, he drives most of the time, even in my car. So that's why we put it on the passenger seat side because it needed more space. But it'll be good because then even if I'm alone in the car, I can look back across the back seats easily as well. So good job. It looked really good. <laughs> So I can't believe you might there. be seeing car seat. Oh yeah, if you see car seat <laughs> and car vlogs, yeah. that's why. Also, I got in the um, crib cover. Guys, look at that color. I think it's going to be perfect in the nursery with um, the accent pillow I have in the chair and with the ducks. Actually, I have to. I have to go check with the vlog before I end this. I'll be right back, babe. <laughs> so sure, this is the perfect color, and I think I just got lucky because I don't think I really even thought it would be. All right, up we go. Oh, the pregnant lady on the stairs. Girl, shut up. Can she? Shut up. Shut up. Because your big ass was sounding the same way walking up those stairs months before you got pregnant. Yeah, shut up, the pregnant lady in the stairs. Girl, fuck out of here. Because I watched Priscilla's P uh, reaction to the lady that you, you keep copying. Is her name Kelly? I can't remember what her name is. It's something. And guess what, bitch? Her ass, I think she said that she was 38 or 39 weeks pregnant. And guess what she was doing? Going to the goddamn gym. And she showed us her there working out. Shut your ass up just because you had to walk up some goddamn stairs. You do it. Yes, she can. All right, let's see. I'm very hopeful. Okay. Moment of truth. Oh, <gasps> babe. Come look at this. I didn't even plan this. Alex, sure, your stupid, bland ass didn't plan it. Yes, the fuck you did. Shut up. Yes, you did. And Yara doesn't care, and that baby doesn't like it. None of us do. Who in the fuck gets that? Shut the fuck up. I matched the color of the crib mattress perfectly to the pillow. Look at this. This is my second fruit snack, by the way. <laughs> what? Look at that. Oh. I didn't even plan that. What's that for again? <laughs> Right. See how he was like, oh, as if he's so interested. And then it's, what's that for again? Because he doesn't give a fuck, Alexandra. He does not care that you matched it perfectly. He doesn't care. It is so obvious that this man does not want you. Hello, read the room when he's there. <laughs> the crib cover for the mattress. Crib cover for the mattress. Like a oh, sheet. Okay, got it, I got it, That's got the it. word, sheet. Yep. Shut the front door. Shut the front door. It's in the same color as the bird feathers. Yes. Girl, get so, out of here with oh, that well, shit. Yeah, the nursery tour. Behind, right? yeah. Okay. This is um, after the nursery tour. Oh, that is thrilling. That is like <laughs> the highlight of Good my life. <laughs> Baby on the way. Cha Alexandra, as um one of my city slickers said, Shayna. Uh, when she puts that camera way up there like that, she said, <laughs> Shayna, Shayna, shout out to Shayna, okay? Shayna said, that camera is with our Lord and Savior. <laughs> she said that months ago, but that shit is still funny to me. Holy shit. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Chill out, Nella. I'm delirious. <laughs> Are you guys? That's the end of this vlog. Ending on a high note. Very excited about that, but we love you. Bye. Bye, girl, with your lying ass. <laughs> All right. Now that we have went through her vlog, and y'all know that I'm always like, girl, where your baby daddy? And then he shows up, right? Um, she couldn't do something as simple as laminate a picture, okay? And she's going to be someone's mother, 
right? And then we have her, I don't know if, could I, should I call that baking or cooking when all she really did was mixed? I don't know what you call it. Maybe it's baking kind of, sort of, whatever. Have y'all tried those protein balls before? She didn't mess them up for a change. I mean, that's good. So as always, y'all know, I want y'all to meet me down in the comment section. Let's chat it up. Let's get some discussions going, okay? If I don't get to yours, please don't be mad at me. There's a lot of comments lately, okay? Sometimes over 300. And I try to get to y'all um, as best as I can. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, watching this vlog. <laughs> of uh, Alexandra Rodriguez. And with that being said, to all of my suburbanites, beach bums and city slickers, bye.